there's a, a lot of anticipation and, uh, you know, uh, maybe some ang some anxious feelings about the return. Yes, we were very uh, well. There, there was some discussion in, in, within the group about what, what, how it would inflate, because uh, we've ne we've never seen this inflate uh, in in, a, in an orbital sense, and so we were very happy to uh, see that it inflated and there were no snags or anything. This was one of the highest risks. Uh, uh, parts of the mission. Exactly. And there we see the replay of the moment of separation, the lofted return vehicle coming off of the Centaur, heading back towards Earth. This is not a view you often see. Centaur coming to a standstill after putting lofted back, and there it is, falling back to Earth. Yeah, so we're falling towards Earth. We are going to start accelerating, um, and then we'll uh, we'll enter uh, Earth's atmosphere around Mach 25 and then continue uh, accelerating until uh, we hit the atmosphere uh, sufficiently uh, to begin slowing us down. As an engineer, Sean, when you look at that, that looks like lofted when it was fully inflated on the ground. We don't see any snags. It looks like completely uh, a complete in, uh, inflation. Yeah, it looks absolutely perfect. Um, I don't think we could have hoped for anything, anything better than that.